Hey everybody, David here. So we've got episode 3 of the Yorkra Museum. It's looking pretty good. Um, the roof is obviously uh, still not roofy. <laughs> but for this episode, for this week coming, my goal is to put a floor, at least a floor, if not some walls and stairs and lighting in all of this area. I want to do the actual roof, like the rest of the roof. And if possible, try and do the big fancy circle room, the ginormous circle room with the sphere hanging in the roof. I'm not sure how hard it's going to be to do the sphere. I'm probably going to have to find some some online programs because it's going to be, I don't know, maybe 50 blocks in diameter. It's a pretty big uh, sphere, although I have uh, an idea of how to do that. I'm not starting from scratch or anything. Um, so hopefully th this will be the last episode for the Auckland build. Um, if I've got time I may also show some some landscaping terraforming making trees thing part of it because what I want to do is actually for example fill in this bit here this here is actually missing grass see the line here so I want to fill in this big chunk of grass and put trees and stuff around possibly even uh, around sort of a block the, the equivalent of a block this is actually two blocks but around the whole building although obviously if I do that it's going to be um, either off camera or like super duper ridiculously fast oh my gosh you're a blur speed montage because that is a lot of grass to place and torches to place underneath and fill in these water holes so that may happen off camera when I'm bored and can't like brain doing backwards and forwards is good for not braining days um, the final touch I want to add which isn't in the real Auckland Museum is a, a pathway here to the main street a footpath obviously with trees sort of in a line I really like that that idea of you know you're walking to through through a, a path so if we go right to the street level and they walk towards it with trees either side possibly a cobbled path I just put this in a normal grass cat path just to mark it but I sort of had this image of sort of overgrown trees and then like some of the trees clear a bit and then you get sort of maybe hereish you get like a an opening of the trees and you can see like all of it so it's like a big reveal dun 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 um although i'm not sure if you can do a big reveal on a, f a straight path i might make a wobbly path maybe add extra um elevations so that the path goes around like so if we put a, an elevation like this one or a little taller i'm not sure sort of here ish near the beginning of the path so it starts so either the path starts sort of a little bit further to the side or the path sort of comes in and then around the hilly bit and by the time it comes back again then you get the reveal this is just an idea I may not be able to pull it off as I've been saying throughout this uh, episode throughout this build I'm, I'm not really very uh, I build buildings parks are, are not and, and landscaping and stuff are not really my forte although it's always a good opportunity to learn 
I also want to figure out, I have an idea, there's a, there's a, like a water fountain here, but it's flat, so it's like a, a, a panel of metal, I think it might be metal or concrete, but it's black, and it's sloped, um, so one end of this flat thing is, is higher than the other end, and the water flows down, and you can't really do that in Minecraft, but I thought I could maybe do a, a sort of elevated bubble column. So do a bubble column sort of at that level, and then do another bubble column at this level, and then do another bu bu bubble column at another thing, and then the, the whole lot it'll look bubbly because it'll be a bubble column <clears throat> but it will then it'll look like it's flowing and bubbling down maybe i had to go before and it didn't really work but we'll see what happens but the main priority is i want to get a roof on this thing um i didn't actually show you the roof last time oops um this thingy, this extra roof, sunroof, is actually supposed to extend to here at both ends of this part of the roof, but um, at that at that width, it, it gets really tall, and then you can see it from the ground, which you can't in reality, because the slope is not all that obvious, like not, not all that steep in reality, but you can't really do that in Minecraft easily. So I just have to do that. But um it looks quite nice from below and above with the stained glass underneath. So yes, priorities. Roof, floors, lighting and attempting the south lobby. The yeah, the south lobby. I don't know how far I'm gonna get with this, but it would be really cool if I could pull it off. We'll see what happens. <laughs> anyway, now is the time to wish me luck and cue the music.
welcome back. And I've done a lot of work. Um, I decided that uh, I did all the filming and um, quite a lot of greenery, a grass placement, but it was six minutes of grass placement. Let me give you an example of how big this this amount of work I've done for this was. I record it in replay mode as as close to eight times the speed as I can. It varies depending on the speed of the camera, but it's about eight times, which is the maximum speed. And then in my video editing program, I put it up to max with the um. I tried to to edit it to as small as humanly possible time amount, and that was at sixteen speed. So it's eight speed times 16 speed and it was still six minutes of watching me go back and forth placing grass so I kind of decided not to show that to you I thought I'd just show you the product so there was a line actually I think most of this was cut out and I did this lot and I put a bit of a ring here it's gonna go all the way down to the ground but I'm gonna try and eventually variegate it down to where it's flat and um, it, it's quite quite a distance so not now um, from here I also did this bit which you can't see the lighting sorry all of this Two different layers all the way to this intersection and down on the road mm, walking is slow oh and I missed a whole section here of curb that's okay it's like two days just to make this road work <laughs> which is why there's a bit of a jolt in the in the video I got about halfway through doing redoing this bit this road and had to stop and then the next day I finished it so um, I just I couldn't it just bugged me that I couldn't I didn't I didn't do the road as it is I mean it wasn't particularly hard um, technically all of these roads are like round like this bit should be round and that bit connecting should be round rather than straight but um, that was something I couldn't really it took so long to get this corner this one corner and it's still not quite even so I, th I thought I'll, I'll just I'll just leave it it's okay um, <laughs> but dun, da, da, da. this is my first ever custom tree I I've never made a custom tree before um, and don't give me too much credit I actually followed a, a tutorial by um, Oh, Jim, Jim and I Tay, who is a hermit craft hermit. Um, it's relatively old uh, tutorial, but I think I like it. And for those of you that don't live in New Zealand, this is a Pahutakawa tree. I actually used a picture of a Pahutakawa tree that's on the grounds. The actual tree is um, on the other side, but I just on Google Maps I could see this beautiful tree, and I thought, right, I'm gonna I'm gonna try for that shape. And it, the canopy's not quite right. There's a, there's a sort of void in the middle, but um, and it's it's very hard to put red like this stuff I had to put moss down because it wouldn't sit on 
leaf block or anything but grass and moss so it, it's it's a little bit i probably should have i don't know tried a kauri tree it's probably simpler but um although kauri tree tend to be straight up and down and buffy at the top and it's kind of boring looking at least this is interesting to look at but th there's a lot that i can see that's wrong with it but i can also see that oh my gosh i did my first custom tree Whee! <laughs> um but yeah, sorry I, I didn't include all of the um, putting down grass stuff, but it, it just, it was six minutes at like more than 16 speed, you know, just for, for six minutes. And I thought, mm, that's going to be really boring, really dull to look at. Um, it's more interesting to watch the tree being made and um i tried i wanted to do show the at least the road even though it wasn't particularly interesting and there was a jolly bit in the middle of the um uh footage but because i changed the lighting in the middle <laughs> so it's quite a jolt but i did i succumbed to my uh fictionist brain and did this bit Um, I'm quite happy with the road. I I'm not, I have no no plans to make an actual basement because um, right now I'm, I'm I'm kind of at the I'm I'm nearly I'm nearly tired of this now. But I'm gonna be doing finishing the roof in the next half, and then probably off camera I'll finish some of the walls and stuff on the inside. And one of the final, hopefully one of the final montages will be trying to move the camera or my character like this through the building to show you sort of the general vibe of the place. Um, there's a few scale issues, but I'm enjoying it so far. It's, it seems to be working and, and that tree is, ooh, it's a bit bright. That tree is, is, is blimmin' awesome. I'm really happy with the tree. <laughs> Pahutakawa tree. I don't even know what if there's another tree out in the world that's kind of like a, like a Pahutakawa tree. But that's good. So, second half. Second half. Let's get ready. Get set. Wish me luck and cue the music.
and welcome back. I hoped you liked my um, cinematic tour. I'm playing around with different camera angles and paths and stuff. Um, and this is the final outro. <laughs> I haven't completely finished the building, but there's a lot of details I can't do because I don't have a, f a proper like br blueprints or anything. And to be perfectly honest, it's it's actually none of my business. Like it's blueprints are probably a, a a privacy issue, which is why they're not online. Which is fine. I tried to do the other memorial, the other halls connected to the central one. This one, at least in the um, street view, the Google Street View, is closed off. I can't access it. I can't even. I don't even know what shape it is. Um, and while I could do some of what's this way, like the shape, there's also these um, side rooms that have dedications in them. They're empty. I, I don't... One of these, I think it's this one or the next one, that long one there, has uh, an area where you can actually walk into a simulated um, trench, like in the trenches, and there's sounds and flashes and all sorts of stuff. So you're, you're actually having an experience, obviously, you know, a G-rated experience, but an experience of what some of the soldiers went through and costumes and music and videos about what um, interviews with people who were there and stuff like that. And there's just, I can't do that in Minecraft. Um, <laughs> and when you go through the Google Maps, the, the street view, it, it, the pathway through this area is a zigzag and I get lost. I can't, I can't actually figure out where different cases, display cases and stuff are. I just get too confused. But this room, there's a real airplane. And I'm not joking, it's an actual Spitfire. Um, I've done something wrong with the scale, which I'm not surprised about because scale for real life things is quite difficult in Minecraft. Because it's about two stories high, the room, even though it's one, two, three, four in here, four meters tall, it should probably be more like eight or ten. So there's, a, in the real museum, there is a real Spitfire here. Spitfire airplane, you know, fighter plane, and there's a little bit that you go up steps to look onto it, or down onto it. it, it's it's awesome, I thought it was the most awesomest thing in the entire world when I went through the first time. This is another area with lots of um, exhibitions and stuff, and I just, there was, there's just no way I can uh, replicate it. But this hall here, the Hall of Remembrance, has stained glass windows. <clears throat> That's the best I could do. I think it looks pretty good for um, considering the situation. It's three layers of glass <laughs> and a, um, a, a, a roof, a sunlight. And here there's a wedding photo with a soldier. It's quite an old photo, obviously. And they have the actual wedding dress on one side and the um, a similar uniform next to it, on both on mannequins. Um, I, I, I couldn't read the text, so I don't know who, who it was, but that's okay. They've also got stained glass windows here on the sides with sort of artificial lights behind them. So I, I simulated this with the the lichen on top of a glowing frame, item frame, so it looks glowy, like more glowy than glow lichen already is. Um, and I don't think the original has actual, you know, sunroof panels. But it's this kind of light with this um, shader pack inside light is sort of vaguely yellow. Whereas in this particular hall of remembrance, 
it's very white light so I, I made this the light panels actual sunroof because it's just just the right the right color I also did another stained glass window which I'm still working on trying to make better I just I think it's just because it's a big one it doesn't quite work and you can see too much behind it but that's okay um, this is then the real one there's actually a plinth with a, a, a planet earth on it I think it's brass and the only thing nearest to planet earth that I could find as gory as this is is a creeper head so um, it's kind of morbidly ironic because creepers sneak up behind you and blow up and I imagine that happens in war you know suddenly you're blowing up for no apparent reason um, and yeah that's that's morbid I'm sorry um, but the rest of the hall is the same I just I wanted to I wanted to do this haul because it's important and it's a, a dedication to the lost dead in different wars uh, every section of the top floor is a particular time a particular war a particular section there's another section I think it's that way where it's dedicated to the land wars here in New Zealand and Aotearoa um, but the scale I, I I couldn't have this room and the others without squashing the other rooms so I had to pick and choose whether to do the entire top floor or and have it all out of scale all too small or have a relatively close well this feels like the right size according to the the maps and my um, my memory of the room might even be a bit small I'm not sure but um, I just felt it was best to prioritize the ones I could do I could do this hallway relatively well um, so now I feel like I've done some due diligence for our ancestors as a, as a country who've died in various wars even though I couldn't do the exhibition and the experience areas and there's this even if I knew how to make a plane and knowing me I'll probably try and figure out how to do it later there's it's just not enough room in this space otherwise I would have like tried to do a, a replica or something but it's it's not wide enough it's not tall enough um, and I actually have no idea how to start I'd have to look at tutorials and practice and blah 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 but I wanted to ex just bags the space you know because um, it's cool um, but I've really enjoyed this build there have been obviously bits that are irritating particularly putting down grass for like three days straight that was very dull but like the stained glass window and it took several goes but I got this bit here that sticks out in a way that I quite like and the um oh the Maori court bloop and here is actually smaller than the real one believe it or not I love this it took me so long to get the roof right because it's all sort of not flat <laughs> <laughs> and that there's no not flat blocks so it, it took a while to get it pretty close to right it's not quite perfect but I'm happy with it and in the real one there's this long waka a, a Maori canoe and it like starts sort of hereish and goes all the way down over here um, I believe it's Tainui actually Tainui waka and here is a um, a Farinui which is uh, uh, oh God. the translation of Farinui is big house so it's sort of the, the house where everyone hangs out um, but 
it's been blocked off the Google view so I presume they're updating it and it's actually twice as wide in real life as the space so it was scaling problem again so we, we can just pretend there's a Farinui here but all in this all from like this end to that end is all like Pacific and Maori exhibitions on this end there's a, a bunch of really beautiful um, Pounamu which is New Zealand Jade which is very special to a lot of us and display cases and, and some of the the Pounamu is is like generations old and arts oh, I love this part of the like uh, the museum but I enjoyed this so much it was hard and frustrating at points particularly the scale because there's all these bits I wanted to do that I just there's just no space it's, it's scaling troubles it's always the scale in Minecraft but um I really I really enjoyed it and it looks brilliant and it feels like my 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 museum you know when I know I don't own it obviously because it's you know not mine but um it feels like the Auckland Museum it's so enough of the right shape and enough of the right rooms that I love I couldn't even do the armory which is kind of suck for because I love the armory um it's got a I think I said earlier it's got a sword in it that was the start of my obsession with swords it's a proper a real katana and it's it looks like it's made out of hematite not steel um, which as far as I know means it was used in battle and it's it's beautiful and scary all at once <laughs> anyway I have done the best I can to show honor to the museum and to have it in my universe I've also figured out how to get it into my actual universe my writing universe all of this that I've done and I'm probably going to continue doing because it's going to take a lot of fiddling in the green areas I just don't have the the mental spoons to put in new other trees this took a whole day I'll slowly chip away at it but I've decided that it's it's a memorial it'll be called Memorial Park I put the reference into Time Speaker because that's where I was up to writing at the time um, you know recording this and basically they had a war a thousand years ago called the Reformation depending on which side of the conflict you were, you were it's either called the Reformation War or the Reformation Massacre um, and if you know anything about how the winners write history you will know that it was the losers who called it the massacre because it was a massacre uh, a, an army a very big army led by a, a general who was remembered as being called Mekra his name was actually Kalan but um, he was a general Mekra had an army and he went through they went through the entire of the five nations um, and basically killed everyone who was the so-called enemy that they could find and Haven was founded you find out about Haven in book three um, Haven was founded from those who managed to get away from Mikra um, and out of the Reformation War once everyone who would argue with them was killed they reformed they created the Church of the Founder religion and based real events that uh, uh, created the mythology and the you know the holy books and stuff out of the the real events to ob obfuscate what really happened and why so this shall be the memorial to those who those probably millions who lost their lives in the Reformation massacre 
but yes, it was fun. I enjoyed it. It was a good palate cleanser. Now I've got to figure out what to do next. If you have any suggestions, let me know in the comments. Remember to do the like and the, the clicky thingies. I, I always forget, even when I like the video. Um, so I'm giving you a reminder. You know, if you want to. <laughs> and hopefully the next project, I haven't decided whether I'm going to do Windsor Castle or not. Mostly because it's flipping huge. Like flipping huge. Um, or whether I should do something else. So if people have any other ideas, let me know. Uh, otherwise I'll look around and think of things to do. I will probably be finishing the back of um, the UCL uh, campus in the meantime. But for now, Ara Nitasa.